Oh. Hello? I'm back. I'm sorry I'm late. I gotta leave early again today, though, too. I'm only here for two, two hours or so. I gotta do another big school pickup that I won't be back from. I'm so sorry. We can still get some nice programming time in, though. Nice. <laughs> uh, old Johnny September. The uh, the goal for this one is to go into space. We're gonna need to socialize. Johnny September's socializing meter is rock bottom right now. Maybe we can go and do this on. Look, we can find a pen pal. Maybe if we found a pen pal, you get. You get some writing skill. I posted on the pen pal forums. Now to wait and see if anyone responds. Okay, my social thing has gone down. Okay, let's do some chatting then. Any chance of wallpaper in this playthrough? Yeah, look, we got some. We got some, see? It's like gray wallpaper with a white trim at the bottom. Yeah, it is wallpaper. You may you may hate this, but oh, we gotta repair this. We gotta start working on our handyman skills. We're gonna need it for the rocket ship, right? Or do they? Does the rocket ship not need handyman skills? Maybe handyman skills are not needed. Uh, I'll tell you where we don't have any siding or wallpaper, and that's on the outside of the house. Look at look at this house right now. This is where we live. <laughs> uh, I don't have that much money, though, right now. I don't have that much money. I'll make some money, and then we'll do the outside of the house. We're in a bunker by the bridge. Yes, where we're building a... Oh, look, I fixed it. Okay, freelancer. Check for gigs. We're going to need a new gig. Work on our programming skill while we make some money. Uh, temporary modding contract for 485 bucks. Seems good. So we have to chat with the client and then just mod a game. That's it. I'm chatting with the client right now, and it's giving me big-time social skills. Perfect. Look at this. Do we have any uh, leftovers? Yeah, we do. We have some leftover salad that we can eat. Perfect. All right. After that, go to sleep in your single bed. Why Every character we make ends up like this. Living alone in effectively a bed sit. Isn't there like apartment living? There's an expansion to live in an apartment, right? And you could eventually live in the penthouse? Is that one worth getting? It's the city one. Yeah, there's a city one, isn't there? Okay, we got a mod Sims Forever now. As part of our freelance programmer look our performance is good we got good good freelancer performance city living you have it and you like it can i uh can i share with you um some news 
not only have I installed Farming Simulator 22, I've also downloaded like 10 mods for it. Yeah, there's some, seems like some pretty good ones. I also downloaded a map called No Man's Land. I was thinking maybe we can just like start with a shovel and see how far we can get. It's a map with no town whatsoever. There's not a town or sell points or anything. Have I seen Vintage Story? I don't know what that is. The map is called No Man's Land. It's called No Man's Land. Ever heard of that one? Okay, we're going to have to resume this work. Actually, you know what? We can probably finish this work and then eat. <clears throat> How do you make money? You you still sell stuff the same way. They just don't have the sell points. I think you can just sell stuff wherever. It's just you on the map. Okay, 582 bucks. Now everyone can enjoy their vacations in peace, sort of. Unfortunately, the missing water still hasn't been heard from. Okay, well that's not our problem. Let's get another. We'll get another. Um, a, another gig. We're we're on the grind, big time, right? We're gonna have so much money soon. We've already got four thousand three hundred and forty-two bucks. What about crypto simming? Crypto simming will give me one thousand two hundred and five bucks. It just needs programming level four. Completely not shady company will give me 1,285 programming level four. We could do a mod maker's jam. Let's try this one. Completely not shady company. All right, we've got to make viruses. No problem. I'm going to chat with the client. This is good, actually. We need to chat with a client. It gives us a huge social boost. The plan for this run, I think, is going to be we're going to try to get our career up and running, work on the rocket ship, and if we can complete the scenario before dying, great. And if not, we're going to have to either adopt a child or get married or something. Okay, well, I've got to make some viruses now. We're going to get some huge programming skill for this. You can have a baby with an alien? What, if I, can I bring back an alien from another planet and they can live here? Yeah, Eddie became a millionaire, yeah. We kind of, uh, it, it felt a bit cheaty in the end because we just sold tons of dragon fruit that we planted. We were getting like, every day we were making like 80 grand just from selling dragon fruit. And then we sold uh, like 200 grand's worth of nectar, <laughs> which got us over the, uh, got us over into the wind. No, the comedy didn't really pay that well, but also Eddie being a loner and somebody who was afraid of um, large groups of people, it, it didn't fit with him well at all. We've reached programming level six. Johnny can now what? Hack work performance. Oh my God, you can actually do that? My performance is already excellent. What happens if uh, my performance goes up as a freelance programmer, nothing? Maybe just get better gigs or something? Yeah. Hey, Yogscast, thanks so much for the raid. What's up, raiders? Yeah. 
Yeah, Eddie only did solo uh, performances in the uh, in the bunker as well. Yeah. By exploiting an unpatched, underflowing, oversigned buffer search space, Johnny was able to infect thousands of legacy systems. The zombie machines overloaded banking network worldwide, netting them zero dollars. Holy crap. What is it, Reagan Delgado? Reagan Delgado would like to come over to hang out. Is that okay? I guess so. Okay, look, I'm going to serve some dinner. Yeah, well, come on in. Make yourself at home. I'm just getting some dinner ready. Why is Reagan Delgado being all flirty with me? Is this helping my social meter? It is a little bit, actually. <laughs> Tuck in. <laughs> There's plenty more where that came from. Reagan, I gotta take a dump. I'll be right back. Actually fully taking a dump as well. Reagan, I'm just taking a quick shower. It was a really messy dump. Sorry. I better put these away. Put these away so I can have some more later. Nice. All right, let me get back to making my virus. Oh, I did it. Wait, is it done? Yeah, it is done. Holy crap. Okay, I'm just going to grab another gig. No problem. Shut your windows and lock your back doors. Johnny has released a virus into the wild. This sneaky piece of software has already netted them zero dollars. Holy crap. Did you guys hear that Shane uh, McGowan uh, died? And uh, it looks like uh, Alistair Darling uh, has also died today. <laughs> Jeez. It's like, yeah, Shane McGowan died today, 65 years old. Alistair Darling died. He's 70. He died today as well. Select a gig. Another custom merch website. 2765 bucks. We only need uh, programming level 5. We're currently at 6. Let's go for it. We just got to chat with the client and make website pages? Holy crap, this is so easy. So is making viruses kind of like writing books in that, like, uh, can you... Can you make, like, uh, regular money off of them? Some are better than others? Yeah, Kissinger's dead as well. Well, he died yesterday, I think. Okay, we've chatted with the client. Let's start making some website pages. Oh, my poor thumb. Come on, Johnny. I don't even know why we need money right now. Do we even need any? We don't really need money right now for um, the rocket, right? We can just work on it. Be good to get handy. Give this website page a name. Um... Um, you two live in Berlin, 1991. Sweet. All right, go to bed. Dot co, dot co dot UK, yes. Very important. Okay, we're going to have to do some cleaning up here when we wake up. 
very important. And then let's also have some leftovers. We eat only green salad because it helps our complexion, but this looks like a pastry that was put away, perhaps. What is this? What did I just eat from eating fruitcake? Oh, I must have put some fruitcake away from the welcome wagon. Disgusting. All right, let's continue building this. Nobody can know. I think we need to skill up our uh, rocket science somehow. We might have to do that through career. I'm not sure. I think we'll get to a point where maybe we can't keep progressing. But for now, let's just see how far we can go. Maybe we should put like some bushes around it or something to try to hide it better. Because I think anybody just driving over the bridge can see that I'm working on a rocket ship in my backyard. Uh, apparently you can't build the rocket in the basement though. You can't, Or you can't launch it from the basement. Oh, we leveled up. We're now rocket science level four. And we just keep going. Who knows how long it's going to take to build this bad boy. And how much more money it's going to cost as well. We're getting tense. We need to play video games. Okay, let's take a break. We're going to play Sim Sims Forever with mods. Here we go. We acquired the video gaming skill. Johnny can further develop their skills on computers, tablets, motion game rigs, or even on their phone. There's an actual video gaming skill? He's, he's a gamer, yeah. Okay, we're, we're happy. We're fine now. A little bit of gaming. Let's have a nice salad to celebrate. Maybe take a shower. You play Fortnite on your microwave? Oh my god. Let's try upgrading our oven. Oh, you can't. We need handiness level 5. So we're not getting any handiness levels from building the rocket? We're happy because we love rocket science so much from liking rocket science. Why not take 5 showers? We don't want to be greedy. We have, a, yeah, we got a dome, you're right. We could almost get in this thing. How much skill do you need to uh, to fly it to another planet? I feel like this is such an easy one. I feel like we're almost done this scenario. Like, what do we need, five samples? I could probably get that all in uh, in, in one go. Take Eddie with me. No, it's not like Subnautica though, right? Oh, 
Oh, the ship being upgraded means better outcomes. Do I need some skills to upgrade the uh, the ship when it's built? I don't think the government ever comes and starts asking questions about this. It's fully visible from the road. Maybe they just think I'm an enthusiast. A bit like Wallace and Gromit, you know, everybody just thinks, oh yeah, he's built, it's done. Okay, apparently we can just go? <laughs> Scenario complete, maybe? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Enter, what's this? Johnny is soaring through the outer reaches of space when they know when they notices an insanely bright something glowing below them. As they swings in closer, they hears engines revving and realizes it's an interstellar racetrack. There's a prize for the winner, but these contestants are no joke. Johnny better be sure their ship is up to it. Join the race? Hell yes. What could possibly go wrong? So we don't actually get to see space. Ready, set, go. Johnny slides into place at the starting line. To their right, a souped-up XR-315 piloted by a female canine sapien. To their left, a brawny alien revving the engine of his TS-555. His sneer revealing a row of sparkling red teeth. Bang! The starting gun fires and they're off. Zoom! Johnny is off to an excellent start, rounding the 105th bend, then reassesses their position in the pack. The dog girl is giving them a run for their money, and Red Tooth isn't far behind. Should Johnny rattle dog girl's confidence by stepping on it, or hang back and keep pace until the final laps? Let's keep pace. Slow and steady wins the race. Dog Girl wins. Johnny opens throttle around the final bend, dusting Red Tooth and Dog Girl. This is it. Time to show the galaxy what they is made of. But then, over the roar of their engines comes a high-pitched whiz as Dog Girl blasts into hyperspeed. Is that legal? Dog Girl takes first. This time. Johnny found something on their voyage. One dead red coral. Johnny has safely returned from exploring the cosmos. Holy crap. I'm going to need to take a dump really badly. Can you get like too much radiation while you're up there or I got to clean my fridge too. <laughs> Welcome home, Johnny. He's back. He made it back. Um, let's make another website page before we go to bed. <laughs> Johnny loves programming. Hey, what's up, Randy? We've been to space once. We brought we brought back f one unique living alien critter. Apparently, it's this thing. It's a it's a common dead red coral. Let's put it on here. The Glutton Spiel by Thomas Hinkle. There's a gourmet fruitcake here, and I've got five spoiled garden salads. Why am I holding five spoiled garden salads? Um, why am I holding five spoiled garden gar? We'll never know. Let's go to bed. Should we go to space again tomorrow? We're going to have to clean up in the morning. 
We need to socialize as well. Maybe uh, Rena Duvernay or whatever her name is is will come over. Delgado. I don't know if I can talk to aliens. I think it's like a, a maybe it's like a random scripted thing. Like we went to spit. There she is. What is it? Hey Johnny, I think Nelson Heaton is pretty cute. Should I ask him out? Yes, go for it. Why not? got nothing to lose shower time you can drag the place to the sink or trash to clean up for him if you'd like no I don't want to do that I think we're eating leftover fruitcake again we might have to play some games to get over this we're uncomfortable Let's play Sims Forever with mods. Perfect. There. We're overwhelmingly happy right now. <laughs> buy a sofa. I think we, if anything, we need to buy it. Now that we have a little bit of money, we need to buy a table and a chair, right? A dining room. We're going to need a dining room table and chair. Let's go for something um, a little fancier than usual. Let's go for one of these with... Oh, boy. Look at this. $90? Perfect. You want to get a mega high chair? No, we don't even have a baby. You want to get a painting? Can we get a, a focus painting? Or do I have to paint one myself? Environment one. Some of these don't even improve the environment at all. I mean, some of them do. Oh, the expensive ones. Look at this one. Environment nine. Portrait of a marriage. $4,000. Okay. I could go for... Ode to Jazz Wall Painting 2 Golden Tips in Gold. 1530 bucks. Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, maybe not? We have to set up like a multi-story jazz shrine in here. I don't know if I'm ready for that. What about Viva La Landscape? That's a little bit better. We could put it right by our computer. It's a better size. What about a recipe for good times by by Mohammed Iman Fayaz? This is a that's a big one. It's quite a big big picture, but it'll improve the mood. Ode to Jazz 5 Ivory? How about this? I can't fit it above all my anime posters, sadly. Oh shit. There's some uh, unwallpapered wall here. Oh, it's because we built the bathroom after, right? You want to put some some siding on here? Siding. What kind of siding do we want? The colonial cabin? What kind of roof do we need? Just any old damn roof? I don't know how to use these roof tools. Oh. Never mind, I think I've got them. Having a. Oh, the tools are quite nice, actually. Look at that. It's on. How do you lower the, uh, like, the pitch of the roof? Oh, you can. Nice! I love that. What is it? It's when you move out, it like it moves more. Like it does this, like this, this slow move. That's so annoying. Stop moving. Stop moving. Look, it says it goes on for like a minute after.
Okay, good. We're going back to space. We've reached level five of the rocket science skill. A lush planet. Bleep bleep, Johnny's rocket ship has detected an unexpected object on the horizon. As they get closer, they can't believe their eyes. Green billowy treetops, crystal blue streams. Could it be the mystical lush planet? Johnny switches off their turbo boosters as they bre breaks through the planet's atmosphere. We're attempting a landing. They can upgrade to improve maneuvering thrusters on rockets. Where to land? Cruising slowly now, Johnny glides over miles and miles of thick jungle. At last, a clearing. But the clearing seems to be cluttered with alien ruins. Should they land there anyway, where there's less chance of crashing, or opt for the dense, dark cover of the jungle? Let's land near the ruins. Holy crap. Ruins of an alien civilization. Phew, Johnny's rocket ship lands without a scratch, and so far no aliens are running out to greet them. Johnny wanders into a half-collapsed temple, which seems to have been constructed of massive porous rock. More strange space rocks are scattered about, along with a beautiful sacrificial bowl and other religious artifacts. Should they bring an artifact home for analysis? Yes. Why the hell are we up there if not to bring stuff back? Not so smooth exit. The instant Johnny picks up a talisman, the ground starts rumbling. It's a trap. Covering their head, they bolts from the temple just as the walls give way. They makes it to their ship and manages to get it airborne. But the ship has suffered critical damage. Although Johnny got their artifact, this is going to be a rough landing. Johnny found a space rock. Johnny found something on their voyage. One dead red coral. Wait. I already found one of those. Oh, shit. Uh, Reagan? Yeah, you can come over, sure. <laughs> I'll be right down. Where the hell is Johnny? Oh, we can upgrade now. Shit! No! Johnny made a crash landing from space, but any landing you can walk away from... Reagan? Get off my damn computer! It's a thousand bucks to rebuild it! Oh, shit! We're not going to have this done anytime soon. This is a lifelong project. Look, Reagan's not even on the... Here, let's get some leftovers. Sorry, there's... Okay. <laughs> Still sits on the bed. Okay, let's enthuse about a new show. Reagan's very sad. How do you think I feel? My spaceship just crashed. It cost me a thousand bucks to, to rebuild it. What else can we... Let's do a self-deprecating joke, because we're dazed, apparently. What else can we do? Oh, we can console about death. Somebody in Reagan Delgado's family died, I think. Unbelievable. Okay, freelancer, we've got to make another website page. This is the last page that we need to make for this contract. We'll get paid a decent amount of money here and we can rebuild the ship.
The contraption outside is my spaceship, uh, which needs to be rebuilt. I just came back. I did a crash landing. I did get a common space rock, though. This gives environment plus three. There's no special aura for this one, though. This is a confident decor three for the dead red coral. We're going to need some sort of, um, like, shelf or something to put all of this crap on, right? Okay, perfect. After Johnny's website was approved, the e-commerce startup immediately got to work. Turns out they're actually very competent and the website caught on. For their speedy completion of the job, the company gave them a small portion of their initial sales as a bonus. Holy crap, we just got paid a lot of money. It's pretty good. Nice. I have a common upgrade part and I have the glutton spiel, uh, which is needs to, I guess, go back on the bookshelf. Okay. I need a shelf. Shelf. Shelf, misc, surfaces, fireplaces, displays. Um, this is a towel storage rack, empty. A capped wall plank. There's a lot of towel storage racks. I'm not sure I want a towel storage rack. How about the Immaculate? This will be fine. We can we can start setting some stuff up near my bed. Oh, I don't think I can put that on there. I don't think this one will fit on there. It, it looks like it needs to go on a uh, on like a bigger surface. There's the athlete's trophy case, which is locked. Can't get that one. There's a mudroom cubby. There's an honest work tool rack here. What about a barewood shorty shelf? Aha. I can sell this thing for 80 bucks. Okay, that's fine for now. We don't need doubles, right? Let's sell this thing for 80 bucks. Perfect. All right, good. Uh, freelancer, let's check for some more gigs. Programming level five. Stop hacking land grab systems. 2,705 bucks. Taking it. We have to study security systems, hack the server systems, and write a report. We're going to have to do some socializing at some point, too. Eighty bucks for some coral from space? Yeah, I know. It's from, it's like that uh, pawn, was it pawn, pawn stars? Pawn, the pawn shop, pawn battles? Pawn, pawn wars. Okay, let's hack the this, this servers now. Storage wars, that's the one, yeah. Oh, I haven't changed my aspiration once yet, um, duckers. I also haven't done anything towards my aspiration either. Maybe I should start working on it. I gotta read some books. My guy likes to read books. Johnny hacked their target and was able to acquire zero dollars from their accounts. Another successful hack. Very good. Uh, what's left on this one? We just got to write a report? That only takes two seconds. This is such an easy one. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. 
I don't think we've made any money from hacking or viruses yet. You want to check on Eddie? He's fine, look. Let's go check on him. He's in Chestnut Ridge. Look, he's fine. He's probably here right now. Selling dragon fruit happily. Across two lots. <laughs> Nah, Eddie didn't die. Eddie isn't just gonna die, okay? Wait, where were we? Willow Creek? No, we're not Willow Creek, right? Is it New Newcrest? No, it's not Newcrest. Magnolia? No. Oh, it's Brindleton Bay. Sorry, it's this one here. Oh no, it's <laughs> it's this one here with the rocket ship outside. So good. All right, we got a, another big amount of money coming in. Maybe we can buy a new bed soon. Might be good. Can we buy, can we like make a, a socializing robot or something that we could socialize with instead of, I'm getting really sick of Reagan Delgado. We did it. 1,393 bucks. We've been recognized for great performance and client satisfaction. All those long hours spent chatting with clients and reading documentation are paying off. In addition to raising their rate, Johnny also received rewards. Ability to overclock PCs, Supreme Freelancer Award, increased pay on all gigs. Overclocking a PC will permanently increase the speed of completing any programming interactions. That's crazy. I'm doing it. Is this going to void the warranty? It's overclocked. I can't believe it. Okay, let's have some leftovers. Okay, let's go. Let's do some chatting on the internet. Get our social up a little. You need an RGB water cooler as well. Okay, we got some money. Let's let's buy a new bed. This bed stinks. Let's get something a, a bit more befitting. What about this one? Energy 5, Stress Relief 3, Discomfort Relief 3? It's still... The best one is still this one, right? Princess Cordelia's... It's 12 grand, though. Maybe we should just get the Discretion Double Bed System? It's a bit big. That's nice. Oh, that is really nice. We'll have our, our wardrobe crammed up against the wall here. Perfect. Now we're living it up. Exactly. We might have to uh, phone somebody. What time is it? It's 5 a.m. It's way too early. Okay, let's go to bed. It's good to hear your voice, Johnny. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know Tyrell Landgrab a little better as a friend. They seem like good company. I think you should go for it. I think we are a Reagan's life coach, yeah. It's a bit odd, doesn't it?
Let's let's no, let's not go on a date actually with Reagan Delgado. Um, let's just uh, invite to hang out at the current lot. Come on, Reagan. Bufala Narble been back. Yes. Ah, free hey gone it. Reagan is already here. Um, really? Where is she? She is definitely not here. Oh. Yes, she is. I heard... I, I could hear her. Oh, no, that was me. Where the hell is she? <laughs> Under the bed? Hey, it's rebuilt. Okay, let's upgrade it. Let's install uh, expanded fuel storage tank. Perfect. Yes? Guess what? My date with Nelson Heaton went very well. Congrats! Feeling flirty now after hearing somebody else's good news. Fucking Nelson. What's Nelson got that I don't? Huh? Huh? Ah? Alright, we're gonna have to continue these upgrades after. Need to eat some leftovers. And we need to take a shower. We need to... T we could take a cold shower now that we're feeling flirty. You know what we could maybe do? Let's get a let's call the adoption agency and adopt a dog or a cat. You want to get a cat or a dog? You can socialize with a cat or a dog, right? Okay, let's get a cat. Um, what's a good cat for us? You may pick up to three pets for 200 bucks. Okay. I quite like... Th this one's got a coat on. It's neutered. This one's neutered. I think... Oh, no. This is an adult female. Not spayed. I think I think they've all been neutered and spayed, except for Gracie, the Balinese. You want to get Gracie? Heck yeah. Whoa. Hello. Let's do a funny introduction. How do I look after a cat? Oh, wow, I can do all... Johnny September has identified the Tetra, a new type of fish reported in certain fishing spots from Frog Ramirez. Hey, Frog, um, can I tell you about a robot invasion? Do I need to, bu do I need to buy some stuff for my pet? Pet care, pet furniture, pet bed. Pet furniture. Okay, here we go. A sleepy time pet bed? A rise and shine sleepy bed? Should we get them a big horse bed? There's a barbarian's bed. Maybe just this little one? I think that's fine, right? Should the cat sleep next to our bed? Perfect. And what about this? Cats can't believe it's not furniture, the cat scratch post. And they need a uh, place to eat too, right? Pet toys. Pet care. Stump for treats. What? Does the cat need a litter box? The Mr. Tinkle's litter box. Okay, I'm putting this thing outside. 
There's no way I'm having that inside. That's disgusting. Um, and what about a modern pet food bowl? Can I move this carrying case or not? Oh, you gotta click on the cat to adopt it? Oh, what? It's just like a, it's like a test? Um, adopt. Are you sure you want to adopt this pet? Okay. Name your newly adopted pet. Johnny Jr. September. Optional. Congratulations, you've adopted, you've added a pet to your household, Johnny Jr. September. Frog is leaving, your adoption evaluation appointment is ending. What can you do with it? Talk to. Johnny, can you help me build my rocket? Johnny Jr.? JJ. Who's this? Who are you? Um, let's do a friendly introduction. Okay, Johnny Jr. Who is this? You weigh them up. I'm going to serve some dinner for me and my guest. Territorial lesson. Johnny Jr. is a territorial cat. She isn't very receptive to, to strangers. Well, it sounds just like me. I... We reach cooking level two. Johnny Jr. is sleeping. I don't think you can get a, a hamster. I think you can only get a cat or a dog. Or at least that those are the only DLCs I have. Hey, just make yourself at home in the only um, dining seat. Johnny Jr. Johnny Jr. is on top of the fridge. Excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom. What is... What's up? Let's discuss some... Uh, check in on Michaela. Michaela. Why are we uncomfortable? Filthy surroundings. You're not going to have any of this? What needs to be cleaned? Oh, it's probably this, right? Okay, Michaela's leaving. I can't find the dirt. What's so what's so dirty? Maybe this needs to be cleaned? We could try to upgrade this. No. Nope. I need to be handier, I think. Phil and call Johnny Jr. to eat. There you go, Johnny Jr. Johnny just became friends with Johnny Jr. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Freelancer, let's check for some new gigs. See if we can make some... We got so much money now. It's crazy. Pet fears. No pet is truly fearless, even Johnny Jr. Each pet has its own unique fears. So watch your pets to discover what spooks them. That sounds like a lot of work. Okay. Simstagram servers for 2695 God, you get so much money from freelancing. It's wild. The sink is dirty. Clean lightly. Get water. Wash hands. No, I just cleaned it. Oh, shit. Got to repair my computer again. Yeah, you can get a dog. Yeah. Handiness level two. Nice. Very good. 
Very good. Okay. Let's uh, carry on with uh, studying the security systems. Oh, he's got to restart. I like having a cat. Get the cat a toy. What kind of toys do cats like to play? I got him a scratching post. Is that not enough? Cat toy. Whoops. It's a pet. Pet toys. Pet toys. What about a squeak? A squeaker squeak squeaking. That should do the trick, right? Play on the go toy box. Don't be caught in any open grassy place without a play on the go, go toy box within pause reach. This durable, resilient chest is packed with Pandora's box of playtime goodies. Is this the one we want? Glitter box in the bathroom and then lock the door so that JJ can't leave. <laughs> oh, that sounds really twisted. Okay, let's put that there. Okay, let's put this in here. Fine, sure. Now the cat can poop in the bathroom just like the people can. I guess we gotta clean that thing out sometimes. I don't think there's any mess now. We seem to be we seem to be over it. We're a clean freak, so we have to we gotta keep things going. Okay, now we gotta hack the server systems. We're gonna we're focused. We're gonna upgrade our programming skills soon too. Do you need a water bowl? I don't know. Do cats need oh he's just taking a shit in there. At least he's shit in there, not on the floor. Programming level 7. We can make mobile phone apps now. Should we make an app? Okay, let's write this report. We hacked and got zero money again. Okay, I'll get him a water bowl. Hang on. Pet. Um, food bowl. No, I don't think you need a water bowl. I don't think they need a water bowl. Yeah. There isn't one, anyway. Dorib. Ah. Ah, yeah. Writing level three? Ooh. Pretty good. Okay, we're gonna clean the litter box after this report is done. This is worth like three grand. Some decent money to be made from freelancing, right? The cat's sick. Uh oh. What's wrong? Writing is magnificent. Johnny is striking true literary brilliance. Should they put it in writing that they like writing? Yes. What's wrong, cat? We got to take him to the vet. I was worried about this. We acquired the vit the fitness skill. Brindleton Hospital. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Sign Johnny Jr. in for a spay. Curing sickness. Here we go. A vet will be with you soon to examine and treat your sick pet. Please be patient. Oh, look, they're ta That's not my cat. Oh, my God, look at the cats are mingling. 
Johnny just became acquaintances with Wally. <laughs> what? I hate this. Get these stupid things away from me. Okay. Getting the pet examined now. Who's examining the pet? Pet exam. It looks like Johnny Jr. has overheated sniffer. Which treatment option would you prefer? The basic treatment? Cure your pet with effective but somewhat uncomfortable treatment methods? Or the expensive treatment? Spare no expense and cure your pet with the best medicine available. Well, I am rich. Hooray! Right, I gotta go. Got important work to do. <laughs> Walking home. Okay. Let's get back to upgrading this storage tank. God, it takes so long. Oh, the cat's back. He's eating. God, the upgrades take a long time to do. Does it update visually when you've done the upgrades? Yeah, we'll go to bed in a minute. Let's finish this upgrade first, and then we'll go to bed. done it. Johnny has finished installing the rocket upgrade. Very nice. Oh, I think the wardrobe might be in the way of the bed. Yeah, it was. It was blocking. I think the cat bed might also be blocking as well. I have to have some leftovers too. Oh no. Shitter's clogged. I think the cat was plotting my death while I was asleep. No, don't drink that. Don't drink that water on the floor. Hey, we did it. Let's scavenge this trash pile for parts as well. Maybe we'll get lucky. Yes? Johnny, thank you for suggesting I hang out with Tyrell Langrab. We had a spectacular time. All right, Reagan. Thanks for letting me know. Hey, we got an upgrade part. Nice. Let's add a superior flush onto our toilet. Reagan Delgado would like to come over to hang out. Is that okay? I guess so. She can hang out with Johnny Jr. while I fix the shitter. <laughs> Johnny, JJ hates her. Hey, we're done. Um, let's uh, give some repair tips to Reagan Delgado. She seems to like to phone us with regarding any old damn matter so we can do the same just got to clean out the litter box sorry 
That's my computer. Alright, I'll take a shower then. She crying? You want to discuss latest book? What's this? Ouch. From upgrading. We pinched our finger during upgrade. Bookworm lesson. Johnny's a bookworm. Bookworms inspired by books and love to discuss them with other sims. We acquired the charisma skill as well. That's pretty good. Okay, it turns out that uh, Regan Delgado is evil. We learned this about her. All right, let's slap her silly. Oh. <laughs> Should we apologize? I know the rule is never apologize, but maybe... Maybe for the sake of ending this war, finally? Let's play some Sims Forever for a bit. Sorry, I'm kind of busy. So I'm leading a raid. See you later. Wow, video gaming level two. Very good. Can we, we can't upgrade this. Can we upgrade the flush again? No, the superior flush is already there. Let's polish this bad boy. I'm rich. Um, let's read Crisis Barn. It's a mystery by Jim Scuttleson. Nice. We love to read. We love reading. What vin video gaming level am I? Um, I'm at the level where I get paid to do it all day, every day. How about you? read one book. We need to do two more. My Pizzi Cat Apolka. Better than me, just not paid. Well, good for you, I guess. Where did the space rock on my desk go? It's right here. I put it on this table instead. The other one. This the other one's right here. The common space rock. The challenge for Johnny September is to um bring back five unique living alien critters from voyages into space. We've done one already. Wait, was that the second book? Oh no, we're not finished this one. Okay. We'll read some books. We got a little bit of money now, right? 
I can finish reading these books. You got a big tub of 1.4 kilograms of pretzels for your family? Holy shit, I'd be happy too. That's a lot of pretzels. We're reading Standing Up now. No! No. <laughs> Again! Come on. Oh, done it. Okay. How do you... Logic skill is like playing chess and stuff, right? Let's check for gigs. Programming level 7. Redacted. Ooh. Wait, I don't think I'm 7. Am I 7? 7,000 bucks. The Redacted are looking for private contractors to help improve Redacted and provide reports directly to Redacted. This is top secret Redacted looking to address the ongoing Redacted. Our internal team is focused on Redacted, so we must seek Redacted. Nice. Okay, we got to study some security systems. Easy. Oh, this is an easy one. We do have to hack the National Sim Security Agency, which might be too hard, but we'll see. Yes. I'm in. I'm focused as well. What would I order from Greg's for my lunch? A vegan sausage roll? Cheese and onion bake? I do like a vegan sausage roll. A lot. I would order one for sure. I do like a cheese and onion bake as well though. Would you ever get so um, fruity one day that you would order perhaps both for one meal? A vegan sausage? And Reagan Delgado would like to come over to hang out. Is that okay? I guess so. This woman has like nothing better to do. I'm over here hacking into the uh, NSSA and uh, she just wants to have like a book club or something. I don't know. Right, let me just write this report quick. Johnny hacked National Sim Security Agency and was able to acquire $264. Wow, we actually made some money hacking for once. Can't believe it. JJ wants attention? JJ's fine. I don't think cats like attention, do they? They just want to, like, skulk around and stuff and bring you bring you treats from outside oh they do i've never owned a cat so i i don't know okay i'll i'll at least feed the cat when i'm done this report yeah he wants food big time he wants me off the computer as well okay jj i'm coming Report done? Come on, let's put this one to bed. Nice, finally. Holy crap. There you go, JJ. 
completion of the job ahead of schedule is met with a heavily redacted email that somehow still had a very happy and excited tone. Nice. God, that's a lot of money. 7,000 bucks to do freelance programming. That's wild. Okay. Reagan's gone. Our social is through the roof right now. Perfect. Let's eat some leftovers. Read Lord of the Swings. Why is Lord of the Swings even on the floor right now? You've had Prison Architect for three years now and you just started playing it today. I decided to start my own prison after 30 minutes in the campaign. I'm thinking I should have finished the campaign first. No, it's fine, honestly. That game, you can, you can do it. Can I give you a, a suggestion, though? Get small cells really quickly, and then uh, you can put in a, uh, a toilet with a shower head right over top of it with a drain all in one tile. It's so good. That's how you shower as well? Good. It's very efficient. All you need is, uh, what is it, like three tiles? You need two tiles for the bed, and then one tile for a drain, a toilet, and a shower head. Perfect. Okay, good. How do I level up my logic skill now? Let's put this away. Logic. Logic and knowledge, off the grid outdoor activities, outdoor activities. Ah, we can do it with a telescope. Very nice. And very fitting with, uh, with how things are going here too, right? Let's stargaze. Maybe we can find some destinations to visit on our spaceship. He's taking notes. Just casually point at a star and say that one? There's so many of them. How do you pick just one? You gotta pick your favorite one. <laughs> I don't want to wake up Johnny Jr. Johnny Jr. looks so comfortable. Okay, let's just get one of these and then we'll go to bed. We acquired the logic skill. Johnny's new skill in logic will allow them to play card games, chess, and use scientific equipment. As the skill increases, the chance of winning games is also increased, and new interactions will become available on the microscope and the observatory. Johnny can now collect plant samples and analyze them under a microscope. They can also discuss logic with other sims. Yes, Reagan? Hey, Johnny, I think I have a crush on Levi Spencer Kim. Do you think it's worth a try? Yes, go for it. I don't fucking care. God. Okay, let's clean. Okay, let's cook um, a garden salad. A party-sized garden salad for 12 bucks. I don't have any tomatoes, so I can't make this for free. I could do some gardening, but I feel like we did gardening last time. Nice. We can put this away after. Yeah, we can upgrade the ship again. We have uh, improved maneuvering thrusters for a thousand. 
An essential upgrade for exploring and navigating new frontiers. Uh oh. Looks like my bills have been delivered. 428 bucks. Unbelievable. I'll pay him right now. Okay, let's continue with this. We're going to have to have a shower soon. I should have maybe done this before I started doing the upgrades, but... We'll go to the toilet first and then shower. Very stinky. <laughs> Regan Delgado would like to come over to hang out. Is that okay? I guess so. I mean, I'm kind of busy, but... Can't talk right now. Sorry. I'm upgrading my rocket ship. I don't think I can take JJ with me, but at least JJ can guard my computer while I'm gone. I think Reagan scared JJ away. Maybe JJ will come back with a dead bird or something. I think we can do another um, trip to space once we got these upgrades, right? We got the maneuvering thrusters and the increased fuel tank. Perfect. Sorry, Reagan. I'm really busy today. I don't have time. Nice. Okay, hygiene is going up. Um, hunger. I think we're okay, right? Let's take another. Uh, let's check for gigs. What's my programming skill at? Seven or eight? There's only sevens. There's a saucy dating app and a small mobile game with big dreams. Let's do a saucy dating app. That sounds great. We just got to study design documents and then make a mobile app. No problem. Mmm, saucy. What's wrong with the cat now? What the hell? Who's this? Sorry, I'm just cleaning out my cat's litter box. Who the hell is... Oh, no. JJ's fighting with this person. Let's do a friendly introduction. I don't even know who this is. Ashlyn. <laughs> good job, JJ. Very good. Um... Discuss favorite authors? Okay, here, let me serve you some uh, garden salad for dinner. My esteemed guest. <laughs> JJ, not in the salad. I'm eating again. 
or sharing a succulent meal. I should get another chair, really. Nice. Put this away for later. Oh, thanks for doing the dishes. Very nice. Um, I should probably refill this. this food's gone bad. I think I gotta empty the bowl. I think I just added fresh food. He's gonna get sick. He's sick. He puked. Okay, there's some fresh, non stankin' ass food for you. That is disgusting. Oh no. I can't I can't empty the trash bin? How come? Oh, there's no toys in here. Oh, there is. There's one ball ball ball. That's all we need. Oh, I don't have a big trash can. Of course. I don't have an outdoor trash can yet. Let me get right on that. We want a wheelie bin. I'll put it right by the door. It's going to get real, real stinky in here otherwise. Nice. All right. Let's go to the bathroom and then we'll go to sleep. JJ, not while I'm going to the bathroom, please. What's wrong with JJ? JJ just, uh, like, lusting? JJ wants to make love. JJ, I don't have anyone for you to love. I'm sorry. Oh, I have to get her spayed? JJ, I'm going to space. I can't be dealing with this right now. Hopefully you're cured when I get back. Lost in a nebula, Johnny's instruments go haywire and their rocket ship is bathed in purple light. Purple and gold dust coats the sky as far as the eye can see, which isn't that far. They must have drifted into a giant nebula. Johnny can send out a call for help or forge ahead and hope the instruments can sort it out. Um, let's forge forward and see what happens. We've got the, the maneuvering thrust, a golden planet. John D Johnny wanders through the cloud. The dance of gold and purple is almost hypnotic. An exquisite dream or a luxurious grave. They is at peace with the beauty of their lugubrious fate. When suddenly the ship breaks through into clear sky. Johnny's free. And there before them is a strange golden planet. Attempt landing. One sim's trash is Johnny's treasure. Johnny discovers the planet is a giant landfill. A junkyard for broken spacecraft and discarded instruments. They had just enough time to collect a few treasures before finding a safe route home. We got a dead pink whale. Very good. And a live blue slug and a dead pink... Three out of five. We're almost done. It was that huge upgrade that did it. Yeah, these scenarios are a little bit too easy for me, it's true.
Maybe these things will fit on a shelf. Let's see. A plumbing upgrade part? That's not it. A dead pink whale is like a jar thing, and a live blue slug is rare. Maybe that'll go on a shelf. Oh, yuck. 80 bucks. Okay, rocket science level 7. Johnny has safely returned from the cosmos. Alright, it's time to clean out some spoiled food. I'm back, JJ. Just gotta do a little bit of cleaning. Buy a shelf. Shelf. There's a coffee table. The Immaculate. I don't think we can fit anything onto the Immaculate. I don't think we have anything small enough to go on the Immaculate. Maybe that rock or something? I don't know. This won't go on there. This will. Okay. Let's put that on there for now. Let's put this on here. Um, perfect. That is perfect. We just need two more things. Wait, can you do this with a cat in real life? That would be fun. I would do this for sure. Do they like these? Look at all the social you get for that. That's crazy. cat is just running around near the spaceship. I think we can go to space again, by the way. Let's go. We're feeling fine. We're not even tired. JJ's got some food and a clean litter box. Doesn't even wake up when the rocket takes off. Calm alert. Johnny is about to beat their personal best time around planet Dayscott when a calm alert breaks their concentration. It's dispatch requesting assistance with the civil dispute on Hyatuin. Itching for a change of scene, Johnny agrees to the mission and blasts over to see what's what. Colonists in revolt. On their way over the, to the planet, Johnny gets more details from dispatch. It seems that a colony on planet Hyatuin's moon is threatening to revolt and start their own government. Negotiations have broken down. And since neither side will talk to the other, it's up to Johnny to mend the rift. Who will they talk to first? Uh, let's talk to the planet government first. This seems like the kind of job for us. What could possibly go wrong? Emperor's Decree. So much for a change of scene. Johnny has no sooner landed than a government official waves them in to see Yang Holmby, the emperor. It isn't easy to understand him through all his spluttering, but he insists that Johnny menace the colonists into submission. Does they agree? Let's try to talk to them. Soup and celebration. Diplomacy first, Johnny always says, and this time it actually works. The colonists only have small demands, a tiny raise in wages, the ability to gather and discuss ideas, but they quickly drop the wage increase to reunite with their government. At the celebration, everyone enjoys free soup, and Johnny is rewarded handsomely for their efforts. We got one live red coral, and another dead pink whale. Holy crap. Four out of five. 
I can't believe it. Yes, Reagan? Guess what? My date with Levi Spencer Kim went very well. Congrats. Well, anyway. <laughs> Derelict vessel. Johnny sees a large ship floating silently ahead. It looks abandoned, or at least very poorly maintained. Should Johnny try to board it to see what's inside, or just use the robotic, robotronic arm to collect some spare parts from the outside? Let's just gather parts. Grab and go. Oh, heck no, Johnny's not getting on that ship. That's how sci-fi horror movies start. Odds are there's nothing on there but rogue viruses, hibernating alien monsters, or something even more horrible. They gather a few pipes and widgets from the outside and gets away before anything terrible can happen. Oh. Johnny is safely returned. Yes, Reagan? Reagan Delgado would like to come over to hang out. Is that okay? I guess so. See you later! <laughs> a lush planet. Oh, the mystical lush planet. Okay, we landed on this one before, right? And we got the, the ruins? Where to land? Uh, let's land near the jungle this time. See if we can do it. Oh, she's taking out my trash for me. Nice. Little blue critters with teeth. It's a tight squeeze, but Johnny's rocket ship lands without a scratch. Instantly, it's surrounded by blue furry creatures. They're small, about the size of a common house cat, but Johnny has never seen anything quite as toothy. And there are hundreds of them. Should they try to capture one alive or euthanize one and bring it back for analysis? Let's catch it alive. Johnny, alien wrangler, hoping their allergies stay under control, Johnny lunges into the hissing mob and gropes about wildly. Paint shoots up their arm as their fingers close around a wriggling, velvety beast. Success! They wrangles the animal into the ship and thrusts it into an iron cage. Johnny can't wait to see what they'll make of this back home. Johnny found an alien! <laughs> wow! Holy crap, we actually found an alien! We got live red coral as well. Oh, we need the wormhole upgrade to visit alien people? Okay, Reagan Delgado. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? Uh, Johnny? Hooray! Johnny's back! He made it! Just clean up Reagan's mess. Um, again? <laughs> I mean, we don't seem to lose any vitals while we're gone. <laughs> Don't litter, please. In the distance, Johnny sees another ship blast its trash out the airlock. Now all that space debris is hurtling Johnny's way. A rusty waffle iron strikes their craft and tears a hole in the fuselage. Johnny is sucked out into deep space. It takes a moment to be thankful they put on their full spacesuit today. Now what? Uh, try to grab the ship? God, Johnny might actually be dead. Back on board. While tumbling head over heels, Johnny somehow managed to grab onto one of the ship's fins, and they gradually pulls themselves back into the ship. 
They's not floating away into nothingness, which is good, but their ship still has a giant hole in the side, which is less good. What should they do? Try to repair it. Patched up perfectly. After dismantling their bunk for extra sheet metal, Johnny patches the hole. The inside pressure stabilizes and it looks like the ship will make it back to Earth. Some of the debris could be valuable. At the very least, Johnny can internet shame the litter bug who got them into this mess. They collect the scoopful and sets course for home. We found some space debris. This is two electronic upgrade parts. Okay, good. Bregan's leaving. Holy crap, we went to space three times today. We're, we're still elusively... We need one more. I don't know what happened to the alien I found. And it's not in my inventory. Maybe it's in my household inventory? No, there's just a Supreme Freelancer award here. Which gives environment two. Maybe I should put this up, actually. That's great. Is there an aura for this? No, there is not. It's just an award. Is the pink thing blinking? Yeah, it is, yeah. And look, this little snail thing is as well. Slug. It's a space slug. It's one of our unique space mementos. Another successful trip to space. Wow. I'll just put all this stuff away, I guess. And eat some leftovers. <laughs> I haven't really needed much money this, this time. Like, we got a pretty good setup now. We're almost done the whole scenario. I don't know if you can find a wife in space. Maybe? Let's observe the sky. This is some really good observing. I think, yeah, I think the cat bed is blocking uh, my bed. Where can the cat sleep where they're not going to be in the way? Here? I don't know what happened to the alien I found. It just seemed to um, expand the cargo bay. Oh, maybe if we expand more room to bring valuable cargo back to Earth. Maybe this is it. Maybe we got to do this. 1300 bucks, no problem. Yeah, it's not in my character's inventory. There's no alien in there. Maybe the game just lied. Do I have a freelancer contract open? Oh shit, yeah, I do. The saucing dating, the saucy dating app. I forgot about that. I better work on that. Um, let me have something to eat and take a shower, and I'll get back to work on that. What do I need to do still? Study the design documents? 
Okay, I'm on it. No, that's not the alien. That's that slug we got on a different trip. Do 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 do. When is this due? Friday. Ah, it's only Wednesday. We're fine. I don't know how long it takes to make a mobile app, though. Would I rather kiss Ronaldo or Messi? Hmm. Question. Freelancer, make mobile app. Oh, this gives me programming experience too. Nice. Yeah, Ronaldo doesn't have a beard, so he might be the better choice, right? Messi is shorter. Does that matter? Hey, Johnny, I've been thinking about getting to know Aaliyah Stevenson better as a friend. Do you think the two of us should hang out? I think you should go for it. <laughs> Oh my god, this app takes so long to make. Alright. We'll have to resume post P. Okay, at least we can continue where we left off, right? <laughs> Who's this? Who is this? <laughs> um, let's debate some. It's Dwight. I think he's a gamer. He's embarrassed. Okay, I gotta get back to work here. That is rather relief with him. He's just checking out my telescope now. He's here to beat me up for the things set online. Ooh. Where did the cat go? The cat is unhappy currently. Oh, the cat's unhappy because the cat doesn't like strangers. I don't know if we're going to get this app done on time. There's still tons left to do. Holy crap. We reached fitness level 2? How? Were we talking about lifting weights with this guy or something? Or was it from cleaning the litter box? Do you actually develop muscles from cleaning out the litter box? <laughs> Alright, see you later, Dwight.
together. Ah, yes. Belovi. This cat so much work. There's so many extra tasks to do. Five bucks. Crazy. Okay, we're going to hit this app hard today. We're gonna fast and get it done. Boom. Or at least try to get like halfway. It's Thursday, it's due tomorrow. We're gonna have to stay up all night. Oh, I'm getting this app done. One way or another, this app's getting completed. Sometimes you get those events. Where you get like a bit huge increase, right? Okay, we're almost half done. Level 9 programming skill? It's cram time. Look, it should go faster now that we're level 9 programming skill, right? I think there's better PCs. And I can probably afford the, the good one, right? Fuck. We're never getting this done on time. Oh shit, now we're really not. I got this, don't worry. Nice! We like handiness, yes. Handiness level 3. Pretty good. Sorry, I don't have time. Sorry, Reagan. I'm cramming so hard here, I don't have time. Look at, I'm surrounded by all of these aliens and stuff that I found. Okay, we're gonna have to take a little break here to clean out the litter box. Probably go to the bathroom as well. But then we'll get right back on it. <gasps> I've reached the maximum. I can hack supercomputers. Programming level 10. Insane. We're on the home stretch now with this mobile app as well. No, I don't think we got a new computer for achieving that.
So close. Alexander's spirit is fading away. Who? I don't even know who that is. I did it. I've done it. I don't want to speak too soon. It is Friday. But I think we got this delivered. Mobile app completed. Holy crap. I did it. Okay. Let's uh, clean out spoiled food. Get leftovers. And go to bed. Let me do some cat stuff here, quick. I know, the cat poops a lot. It's crazy. Nice! Alright, I gotta go pretty soon. Let's see if we can complete this scenario. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get the last thing. I forgot to feed Johnny. Space madness. Johnny is suddenly feeling anxious and jumpy. There's a strange tingling sensation in their hands and feet, and they feels a little lightheaded. Could they have space madness? Could something be wrong with the airflow? Um, let's swap the CO2 scrubber. Feeling good. Fresh air really helped, and now they feels better. If Johnny actually had space madness, they'd start getting paranoid and making really terrible decisions. Now, how to spend the day up here in space? Uh, spacewalk. A beautiful space day. It's so pretty outside. Look, the northern lights. Johnny can't spend the whole space day cooped up inside like this. They needs to get out there and enjoy the beautiful weather. They ventures towards the airlock and gets ready to go outside and take a nice walk. Spacesuit? Put on my spacesuit. This spacewalk is going to be amazing. Johnny puts on their suit along with its auxiliary air tank. After a few minutes of breathing clean air, they regain their sanity and realize what happened. They decide to stay in the suit and just head for home. Luckily, they didn't do anything too crazy. We have to go back. I don't think we got anything that time. Puka Poo, where are you? Johnny stares down at a formidable tower on a red planet. The cosmic relief dog pound is, isn't just a fable, it's real. Johnny is searching for Mrs. Fuzin's prized Puka Poo, a rare breed of space dog that can bring big bucks on the black market. It will bring big bucks to Johnny too if they bring it home unscathed. Enter the pound. I forgot to feed the cat again. Whoops. Welcome to the pound. Johnny parks their rocket ship and goes into the pound. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the alien at the front desk raises an eye as they walks in. Job's filled, she says. Johnny can explain about the missing dog or make an excuse to look around. Let's make an excuse. The red leash. Well, looks like even the pound has its processes. Having made up a story about losing their mutt, Johnny fills out their 13 forms while waiting for an escort to the cages. They is handling, handing them in when they notices a small red leash, much like Fitz's photo sticking out of a box under the desk. What now? Investigate the cages. To inject or not to inject, Johnny is escorted down a long hallway by a grumpy looking guard. He shoves Johnny into an examination room and explains that he'll need a rabies shot if they wants to get near the animals. Does Johnny agree to the injection? Yes. Space dog should stick out. The guard injects Johnny's arm with a long shiny needle. Then leads them into the pound, which consists of floor after floor of caged beasts, mostly large, 
growling earth mutts. First 60 iron floors, the guard says. Johnny can start looking for fits or look for a way back to that leash at the front desk. Um, let's search the cages. <clears throat> God, that's a long one, eh? Well, that was a waste of time. Johnny is tired. So tired, in fact, they could fall asleep right here on the 69th floor if they weren't for all the howling. The animals in here are nothing like Fitzy Poo. Finding a stairwell, they leads back to the front desk. The alien is gone, but what? what's that Johnny hears? Whimpering from under the desk? I'm checking it out. Pet peddlers in pursuit. Johnny is on their way home to deliver the prize pooch and collect their reward. The animal under the desk had been fits all right. Died brown in a lame attempt at disguise. But wait, there's a fighter closing in. Then Johnny realizes the injection was a tracker. Maybe they can outmaneuver them. Fancy flying time. No luck. Johnny gives the cosmic relief fighter a good chase, but eventually disables one of their engines and they force it to return. Fits in the pooch pod they send over. Johnny will have to watch the black market for him, assuming their remaining engine can get them home. I'm back. It was not successful. Okay, I'll feed the cat this time. God, my social meter's gone, like, down so much. Hey, Johnny, I think Frederick Landgrad is pretty cute. Should I ask him out? Yes, go for it. Whew. Man, what a day of space exploration. We're close, but it's elusive. All right, Chad, I gotta go. I don't think I'll be back today. I'll try to be, but... Uh, if not, uh, I'll be back tomorrow morning. Uh, sorry, I've got to go do the long school pickup, but also um, there's parent-teacher meetings and all sorts of shit i got to do today as well. So, like I said, if I can be back, I will. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And... Um, Thanks so much for the uh, subs and resubs and all the donations as well. I appreciate it. Save and exit. Wait, does this exit the whole thing or just go back to the main menu? Yeah, Jingle Jam starts tomorrow. Oh. Bom, 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 bom. It's on for the next two weeks starting tomorrow, the Jingle Jam. <coughs> I'm meeting the teacher's parents. Yeah. Um, they're my age. Um, so I'm going to meet them and uh, discuss what's wrong with uh, with this current uh, gen gen generation of youth. It's disgusting. They're out of control, you know. Just got to discuss it a lot. Um, <laughs> uh, listen, um, we'll, we'll play some farming sim soon. We'll try like a survival thing on that no man's land. It, it might be fun. It might be long and tedious, but... Uh, maybe we'll do that after we're done uh, Johnny September's uh, space exploration thing. If I can be back today, I will. Uh, but like I said, if not, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right, chat. Have a good one. Peace. LOL. Lots of love. Bye now. Bye.